Good morning, HSP travel vloggers. There's my herd of cattle. They're out appropriately in their pasture today. <laughs> and it's the morning I've awakened, and I wanted just to share with you a little bit about more about my travel and how I take care of myself and traveling. There are the neighbors, and this place is well set for families. Um, I think you probably saw my other video that there are lots of little toys for the kids, including riding tractors, since we're on a farm. So, I, you might think I would not share all the gory details, but I actually realized I wanted to tell you that I have a lot of sensitivities to scents, to smells. And um, so I try really hard to get Airbnbs with laundry. In France, they all have washing machines. Rarely do they have dryers, and that's fine. But up there, outside the bedroom window, is hanging the comforter. I slept with it last night. It is not laundered as frequently, but one of my issues is if I climb into a bed where they have used extremely aromatic detergent and fabric softener, I can't sleep. I get a severe headache, itchy face, itch itchy skin. One might say... I actually am allergic. <laughs> I could be. I don't know that my dad would say that. Hey, there's me in the window. So um, I did my laundry, but when I first got here, I washed the sheets. And this is the cover, the duvet cover. And um, I didn't, it had to go in the second load because the washing machine's really small. So I just really wanted to say how important that is to me. And I'm work really hard to create a compatible environment for my sensitivity so there's always a washing machine I'm traveling oh I have switched to environmentally friendly laundry I'm very pleased to say there are occasionally cars well, that's a big work truck pulling a trailer a dump trailer <laughs> that's what you hear out here in the country same at my house by the way um, except I'm on a little dirt road so they don't get that close to me so, um, I use one of those packages of sheets of laundry detergent. It's unscented. It's literally, it comes in a paper envelope. One envelope is enough for 60 bajillion loads. I think it's actually 60 loads per envelope. And, um, so I threw an envelope in my, it weighs nothing. And you pull out this little sheet. And that's your laundry soap. It dissolves in the laundry. So probably you've already discovered it. I'm only a few months into it myself because I saw ads for it. And I actually bought bought it two or three times at the health food store. But um, those were always scented. And e even the unscented one was scented. So finally I found a brand that is unscented. And actually I will try to... Um, get the name of it in the notes to this video for you. Um, shouldn't be a problem since I have the, the package with me in my suitcase right now. So here we are back at the barn. I just made a video last night in the dark of the beautiful barn. And I wanted to make one in the daylight so you could see it. So it's this huge building. Over there is the entrance to drive your cars in. And there are the barn doors. This is a relatively new door, but the doorway is not new. <laughs> and you can see that they knocked out portions of the giant two-foot thick. Maybe it's 18 inches. I don't know, but it's really thick stone wall to make the windows. So those two windows on the bottom and one window up top are my uh, apartment. It's two stories. The bedroom and bathroom are upstairs. And then one room with a really well-equipped kitchen, um, large dining table, and a little couch, and a TV. I haven't turned the TV on in France, but um, those are downstairs. So the staircase is really steep, and I'm just going to take a moment, if you stick with me here, it's going to make the dogs bark when we go around the corner. Um, but they need some entertainment, right? I think they're doing a lot to try to repair these buildings as they... Um, just showing you these beautiful rocks as they go along. Um, so, 
This is the... This is the building. See that wall in the back? And I'm going to back up and show you up into the rafters. Can you see that? They just literally built the apartment into the giant old barn. It's amazing. 